all the glory for everything that he does. The glory is not ours. Praise God. The doctor won't get the glory, but God will get the glory of what he's going to do. He's, their healing still coming. Praise God. I love the Lord and praise him. Keep us through the day. Watching over his feet. Praise God. I hope to say again. Praise him for every breath that we breathe. For he is the breath that we breathe. He's our rock of salvation. He's our shield, our defense, and our strength. Praise God. I love the Lord. Praise God. Try this song again about the word out.
hands in Jesus. He's our lily in the valley, praise God. He's all we've got. With hope and dream completely crumbled.
and I just love the Lord with all my heart. Y'all pray with me.
Amen. And say something about the word of the Lord. Amen. Go ahead and he saved me, Brother Jim. Amen. And he set me on that solid rock. I don't know what this thing's squalling about. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Got just a second here. Brother Bob, if you will, I want you to help me. I want you to give everybody one of these. Everybody. Everybody here. Give everybody one of these. Give one of these. Brother Larry, the poor people is not part in the Bible. Bless Sister Stella said the other night, it might be the little toe, it might be the nail on the toe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I tell you what, if we all ain't functioning and doing what God wants us to do, yeah, the body's going to suffer, yeah. Brother Larry. Yeah. I don't know if I'll read any or not. I'm going to give Brother Bobby just a minute to give everybody one of these. Yes, bless you. Brother Larry, I've studied and prayed and sought the Lord for a message. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing, Brother Jim How that you get started on one thing. Yes. And the Lord says, no, don't preach that. I got something else for God. Oh, I thank God, Sister Stella, that he's, he's building and filling and working on his people, getting us ready for that great day, Brother Larry. Yes. Everybody got one. Just a few more minutes. May seem a little strange. Brother Larry, I, I tell you what, the Lord's going to move. Everybody look at the little invitation card you got there. Another brother Larry, I was praying and seeking the Lord, and I thought, Lord have mercy. What am I going to preach? And they just begin to come to me, Sister Stella. Thank you, Jesus. You're invited. Yes. You know, you look at that little picture there on that card. Just bear with me just a minute. Bless him, Lord. I don't know how long I'll be, but I'm going to obey the Lord. Yes. You see that gate there, and you think in your mind, your spirit, brother Larry. That surely something so beautiful will lead to something magnificent. Something will lead you somewhere. Yes, amen. That's eternal, Brother Bob. Yes, yes. And I thought also, you know, the Lord, He's going to prepare a place for us, Brother Jim. Yes, and He said if He'd go prepare a place, that He would come again. Yes, and He would receive us unto Himself. Yes. And also find Brother Larry in the Word of God that the devil, there's a place prepared. For the devil and his angels as well. Yes. Sometimes I believe we get sidetracked in our spirit, Brother Bobby. Nice and and the devil, he'll raise you in our mind and tell us that we ain't going to do anything. Yes. We're not going to conquer anything for Jesus. But I know that the Lord is raising up a people. Brother Larry is going to stand yes. in the same time. And I'm determined yes. that I'm going to be one of them. And we have to have that determination, Brother Bobby, or the devil. He'll sift us and he'll call us to wind up. On the broad way to hell, and I'm determined for the Lord. I'm not going to go for the devil's hell. That place will prepare for the devil and his angels. Amen. And if I had the title of this little message today, you're invited. Hell was having a party, Brother Larry. And that devil is going to and fro, Brother Jim, and he's seeking who he may devour, who will allow him. And I believe we got to give birth of all. we got to come to the place in that walk with God. That nothing here or nothing that's to come. Or nothing that has been that's going to be able. Like Apostle Paul said, to separate us from the love of God is in Christ Jesus. we got to have that determination. And nothing is going to separate us. Brother Shane, and I'm telling you. That the devil is sending out these invitations. Every day that we are ready. Brother Bobby, we have to, we have to contend with the devil. You're invited to that party. Will you attend? Will you attend that party that hell was throwing? Absolutely not. We have to know in our spirit and our mind. We may say, I'm not going to go to that place. I'm not going to render to the things of the devil. But we get in time. Sometimes we get in the place of weakness, Brother Bobby. And we won't even realize that, Brother Shane, we're sitting. And we're going over that invitation, Brother.
Brother Jim. You may not understand that, but if you sit there, baby, sitting to think that the devil was throwing at you, man, you're sitting and studying that invitation that was given to you. The devil's got angels, Brother Larry. The minute they have transformed yourself into ministers of light, and if you're not very careful, you'll find yourself deceived and following the false doctrine. And I tell you what, we've got to come alive for Jesus, Sister Stella. We cannot second guess what God's put in our life. Because every time we sit down, we think, well, I don't know if this is, we've got to know so. We've got to know, Brother Jim, that the Lord, what He's put in our life with this, we're going to stand. No matter what comes our way, Brother Shane. It's time that we come alive, Brother Bobby, and I tell you, I've made up my mind. We have got to. You feel that heaviness in the spirit? I know it's revival time. And the devil, Brother Jim, he might as well pack up and go on back to hell. Where he came from? Because I'm telling you, he's not going to defeat me, Brother Bobby. I've made up my mind. You know what? I'm going to go all the way for Jesus, Brother Jim. Come on, man. I know God has got a purpose for us, revival. And we got to come alive for him, Brother Bobby. And shake off the things that's troubling your spirit. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 19 says, And it shall be, if thou do at all, forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them. He said, I testify against you this day, this day yeah. that ye shall surely perish. Yeah. Man. That's a pretty strong word, Brother Jim. We've got yes. to get it in. Get, we got to get it in gear because the devil is breaking, Brother Bobby. Yes, he is. He's right there behind us. He's waiting on us to make a mistake. Yes, yeah. Brother Jim, we're living right down. In the closing out hours of time, Amen. the devil is just waiting for an opportunity. He's setting up pitfalls everywhere you go, sisters. Tell us. He's waiting on one of us to make a mistake, brother Lord. We're living in the time that if we make that fatal decision and go error from the truth, we might not ever recover again, brother Bobby. And we've got to make our mind up and know that Lord, you done put this in my spirit. You save me. You sanctify me. Fill them with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, you speak that word to me and I'm going to go. It's time, Brother Bobby, that we come alive. And do what God has got for us to do. You may say, like Peter did, we get sometimes in a battle. In a battle of decision. The devil's going to try you. And the Lord's going to allow him to try you. He may say, I won't never deny the Lord. I may never, like Peter said, Lord, I'll never deny you. I'll go all the way for you, Lord, even to death. You know, the Lord told him, Brother Bobby, that before the cock crowed, he was going to deny him three times. Thrice. No, Lord, I'll never deny you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go all the way for you, Jesus. No, it's easy. To speak those great swelling words of boldness when you're standing in the anointing, Sister Stella. But I tell you what, when you're out there in the world, and that's where the real true test is at. When all the powers of the enemy is raging against your mind. Then you seem like sometimes you don't know, Brother Bobby, if you're going to make it to put one foot down in front of the other. But that's when we've got to learn to trust in what's been instilled in our spirit from the beginning. That like that night when you sat on that spirit of the Lord, He dealt with your heart and you, and you gave it all to Him. We got to go back to that very night, Brother Jim. When the enemy is fighting us, it seems like we can't go on. We got to remind that devil, Brother Jim, greater is He that is in me that He is in the world and doesn't give us power over all the powers of the enemy, Brother Jim. And I tell you, we've got to get a determination that we're going to go all the way for Jesus because hell is a rage of this very hour. We, we cannot afford for the Bobby to sit down and sell out now. We have come too far down to look back, Brother Jim. And I refuse to turn my back on Jesus. Brother Jim, he went all the way. 
way to turn into Calvary. And I know it wasn't easy, Graham. Sometimes we like to say, well, it's getting rough. Come on. Yes, it's getting rough. Yeah. And it's going to get rougher. Yeah. We've got to make our mind up that we're going to make our self go, Brother Jim. Yeah. Little flesh is fighting against us. Yeah. And he's going to fight us, Brother Bobby. Yeah. He's not going to give up. But I tell you what, God's got a people that has made their mind up. They're not going to give up, neither, Brother Jim. I got a place over waiting on me in heaven, and I tell you, I'm going to go there. We heard about it, Brother Bobby. We preached it. Our whole life we've heard it, and it's been passed down to generation. The generation that I know that God has got a people, Brother Larry, in this last day that's going to stand and declare the whole honor of God. They're going to preach this in time of the word no matter what comes against us. The devil ain't going to try everything he can. And he's going to come at you with everything. He ain't going to come at you with something, Bobby, that's not going to affect you. Something that bothers you, it may not bother me. Something that affects my brother Jim, it may not affect me. Something that bothers me, it may not affect you. But together we can stand, brother Jim. God has got a people that's got a backbone. If they're going to walk, Brother Jim, they ain't going to faint. We're not going to faint. Under the pressures of the load that the enemy sends their way. You know, Brother Larry, the devil is fit, fit, fit. And I ain't giving the devil no glory, but I tell you what, sisters tell him. He is on his job. 24 hours, 8 days a week. It's such a thing. He's cranked the heat up on the church, Brother Bobby. He's made it his. He doesn't know the ones that's his, the ones that's deceived, the ones that's done surrendering, and the ones that the Lord has already turned over to a reprobated mind and let them believe a lie and be down. He already knows. He don't have to worry about keeping them down anymore, Brother Bobby. He's turned his focus and attention on the elect of God because the Bible said that he would deceive the very elect if it was possible. But I'm here to tell you that it ain't possible for you to deceive somebody that's anchored in the blood of Jesus. And I'm telling you, Brother Bobby, we're anchored and we're on our way to heaven. And I don't care what the devil brings our way. We're determined we're going all the way for Jesus. You know what? Now you can take that back to hell and give that to your little whippy spirit and go. God has got a people that's going to stay in. I'm excited, Bobby, about what the Lord is doing. They will think he's going to hush me up. Bless him. He ain't never going to learn, Brother Larry. But I tell you what, he's dealing with a bunch of people right here at Ladder Rain.
Brother Larry. But God has got a people that's determined. And he's called us and set us aside. And I know we're going to rise up in this in time. And we're going to declare war on the devil. He said and he's painted that rosy picture time and time again, Brother Larry. Down through the years he deceived many people. Over the years, and I'm telling you, but I tell you, God has got a people that is unmovable. God has got a people, Brother Bobby, that can't be shaken. God has got a people that is settled. God has got a people that is anchored. God has got a people that will not fail. God has got a people that's going to declare the whole council of his word. And I'm going to be one of them, Brother Bobby, that will stand before the Lord with clean hands. I don't want to make up for him and stand before him and not have any works. Because he's coming for a people. That has made their mind up. We might as well, Brother Larry, to make our mind up that we're going to do what God has us to do. Because Brother Bobby, for one of the chosen, the easy way or the hard way, we're going to fulfill our part in this body. You may run from the call. You may run from the, the whatever God's got for you to do, Brother Jim. But I'm telling you what, the one way or another, you are going to come in and fulfill. God said he would raise up a people, Brother Jim, in this end time. That will serve him in the beauty of holiness. And I'm going to be one of them, Brother Larry. And I will be one of them. That this world can't spot our life. You know, you may think that I ain't doing anything. I ain't accomplishing anything. But every day that you live, every day that you walk out your door, there's somebody watching your life, Brother Jesus. You are absolutely somebody's word. Some people may never start in the church door, Brother Jim. They watch and they sit back. Just waiting for you to fall, waiting for you to trip. And make your mistakes so the devil can have something. And throw back in your face and say, oh, I know they wasn't nothing to that. I know it wasn't nothing to it. Look at you now, the powers of hell. They stripped your minds of shreds and you're sitting somewhere idle. You don't know if you're going to make it or not. But Brother Jim, God got a people, they don't have to sit and think. This is not on think and think. It's a no so way. And I know that over 2,000 years ago, Brother Bobby, that unhearted Savior came and he made a way for you and I. He saw down through the portals of time, I believe, Brother Bobby. When he was hanging there on an old rugged cross, he saw right down to this very night and he knew that he desired a people that would come out from among the world and be a separate people, set to God. And I'm going to be one of them and we have to make that determination in our spirit that we're going to be one of them. I know that I keep repeating that, Brother Bob, but we have to know because if you don't know, then that means you're in the balance. You've been weighed out. And if you're not very careful, Brother Roger, the devil, he will outweigh the things of God. But we have that choice. I'm excited about Jesus and what he's done for me. Some people, Brother Bobby, you can't get them to smile. You can't get them Talk about the word of the Lord. You know, the Lord is really. Uh, there's been some things that revealed to me this week. Things that I felt and knew in my spirit, Sister Stella. And you know, sometimes, you know how you, you got to wait upon the Lord sometimes. Sometimes, even though you know that you know, you got to wait upon the Lord for them answers. Brother Jim, I prayed and sought God and the difference of things and situations. It's... And the Lord just revealed some things to me. I mean, I, I can't reveal it right now. But God has got a people, Brother Jim, that's coming alive. And it means something to carry the title of a preacher, Brother Larry. It means something to tar carry the title of a Christian. Some people don't even know what the word Christian means, Sister Stella. That means Christ-like. We need to examine ourselves when we're out here in the world, Brother Bobby. 
every day, every hour of our life, when we're walking before people, yes, Lord, am I doing what you need me to do? Yes, am I living a life? Am I presenting myself to these people that they would see something? And that's what that I want my life to be, Brother Jim. I want to shine a light everywhere I go that someone. You don't have to say, hey, I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher, man. Look at me. It'll show. It'll show. It'll show, Brother Jim. You don't have to carry a sign around on your back. Amen. I'm a child of the King. Amen. It speaks for itself, Sister Stella. Yes. Amen. I'm proud to be one of them. Yes. I never prayed like we've all said it time again. I never prayed one time, Brother Larry, to be a minister of the gospel. Amen. But the Lord knows them that he can rely on. Yeah. That's that's my whole heart's desire. Amen. Like that song we sang, sang sometimes. Speak the word, Lord, yes. and I'll go. Yes. I want to be that servant that's not slow for Sister Stephen. I want to be one of them that the Lord speaks to my spirit. Yes. Brother Jim, he don't have to tell me two or three times. Like he told I believe it was Peter to feed his sheep. Yeah. I'm in time to you. He had to tell him. Brother Larry, I want to be one of them that's serious about what God has got in my life. You know, the strangest thing to me, and you know, it's a natural thing. You can sit around and you mention things of the flesh. Man, and people get so excited, Brother Jim. Blessing Jesus. I do it myself. Confession's good for the soul. Blessing Jesus. Brother Larry, somebody mentioned, let's go fishing. Bless God, I'll be here in the morning. What time? I got my pole ready. You get the bait ready, I'll be here at 6 o'clock in the morning. How hey, you want to go hunting? Yeah. Let's go for three or four days. Where are we going? You know any good spots? Yes. Four in the morning. Bust my own bow. Dolly Willie, here we come. Glory to God, my back's broke, my knees crippled. Twitchy. Oh, railroad. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> it's all good. We all want to stand before just God. Yes, we are. And they are a thing. I'm not saying, don't nobody think, and I'm saying that you can't do things. You don't have to drive and die because you're a Christian. Amen. Well, why is the church world done dried up and dead and you ain't even done anything? That's my question, Brother Jim. If we get so excited about the things of the natural, why can't we turn that around in the spirit, Brother Larry? You mentioned a ball game, buddy, and they'll squat and holler and flip over the seats and run down on the field. They got to be in the middle of the action. That's what we got to do when it comes to church time, Sister Taylor. The Spirit of the Lord is moving, Brother Bobby. We got to get down here and be part of the action. God is coming for a people that's ready. We got to get ready. And we got to stay ready. That's so good to be one of them. I count it a great privilege. Like I said, nobody get offended at me. Saying, they are things of the flesh, Brother Bobby, that we can do and enjoy. Uh, yes. But we absolutely got to do it on your own time. What are you saying, preacher? God. Sunday at 1 o'clock. Going to the race. You better get here in this altar. Right. Yep. I'm telling you. I'm just saying. You can do things on your time. Right. Ain't anything for service. Damn for Dan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Lord, yeah. Good. Anyway, we're going to change the uh, order of service a little bit. If anybody needs prayer, needs anything from God, come on up. We'd love to pray for you. And if you don't need something, pray for me. Because this is Stella. I want all that God's got for me. That's right, amen. If you don't want it, give it to me. Pray it down on me. If you don't want it, give it to me. If you don't want to testify, 
Pray that the Lord will give me an extra testimony. If you don't want to sing, pray the Lord to add to my songbook. If you don't want to read your Bible, if you don't want that dedication, pray the Lord to give it to me, Brother Jim. Because I'm hungry. And I want it all that God has got for me. I hope I said a little something to bless you. And I hope I said a little something to stir you up and cause you to want to check yourself. Because that's what we got to do, Brother Jim. Day by day, we've got to examine ourselves. Because the Lord is coming for the people in His prayer. And Sister Kitty gets us a song. If anybody wants to give their heart to the Lord, anybody wants to see, needs a miracle, we serve a miracle God, Brother Larry. He's still in business. He ain't going out of business. He's in a supply. If you want it, God's got it. And we know how to help you get that. And she sings if you need her.
Thank you. 